Namaste, Dandabad Pranam. By the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad, Paramahamsa Sri Pad, Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we are here reading Sri Mad Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 4, The Creation of the Fourth Order, Chapter 7, Text 43. Gandharva Uchu Am Samshasti Deva Marichadya Ete Brahmendradya Deva Kanarudra Puruga Kridha Pandam Vishvam Idam Yasya Vibhuman Tasmai Nityam Natam Namaste Karavama Dandavat Pranamana under Krishna Prabhu. Dandavat. The Gandharvas said, Dear Lord, all the demigods, including Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, and Indra, along with Marichi and the other great sages, are all only differentiated parts and parcels of your body. You are the supreme, almighty, great. The whole creation is just like a plaything for you. We always accept you as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and we offer our respectful obeisances unto you. Purport. In the Brahma Samhita, it is said that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. There may be many gods, from Brahma, Lord Shiva, Indra, and Chandra, down to the rulers of lower planetary systems and the, resident, the presidents, ministers, chairmen, and kings. In fact, anyone can think that he is a god. That is the false, puffed-up conviction of material life. Actually, Vishnu is the Supreme Lord, but there is even one above Vishnu, for Vishnu is also the plenary portion of a part of Krishna. In this verse, this is referred to by the word Amsama, Amsamsaha, Amsamsaha which refers to the part and parcel of a part and parcel. There are similar verses in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, which indicate that the Supreme Lord's parts and parcels, again, expand into other parts and parcels. As described in Srimad Bhagavatam, there are many manifestations of Vishnu and many manifestations of living entities. Vishnu manifestations are called Svamsa, partial manifestations, and the living entities are called Vibhinamsa. The demigods like Brahma and Indra have been promoted to such exalted positions by pious activities and austerities, but actually Vishnu, or Krishna, is the master of everyone. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is said, Ekale Ishvara Krishna Araso Sabha Vritya. This means that Krishna alone is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and all others, even the Vishnu Tattva, certainly the living entities, are his servitors. Baladev is the immediate expansion of Krishna. He also engages in the service of Krishna, and certainly the ordinary living entities are serving. Everyone is created con constitutionally for serving Krishna. Here, the Gandharvas acknowledge that although the demigods may represent themselves as the supreme, actually they are not the supreme. Real supremacy belongs to Krishna. Krishna's tu Bhagavan Svayam is the statement of Srimad Bhagavatam. Krishna is the only supreme lord. Worship of Krishna alone, therefore, includes worship of all the other parts and parcels just as watering the root of a tree also waters all the branches, twigs, leaves, and flowers. Text 44. Vidyadhara Uchu Vanmayaryat 
Tam api padya kali varismin, kritva mamaham iti dorma tir utpatai svai, kshiptopya sad vishaya lala sa atma moham, yusmat katam rita nisheva ka uvyudasyet. The Vidyadharas said, Dear Lord, this human form of body is meant for attaining the highest perfectional objective. But impelled by your external energy, the living entity misidentifies himself with his body and with the material energy, and therefore influenced by Maya, he wants to become happy by material enjoyment. He is misled and always attracted by temporary illusory happiness. But your transcendental activities are so powerful that if one engages in hearing and chanting such topics, he can be delivered from illusion. Purport. The human form of life is called artada because the body can very nicely help the embodied soul to achieve the highest perfection. Prahlad Maharaj said that even though temporary, the body can give us the highest perfectional achievement. In the process of evolution from the lower to the higher grade of living, the human form of life is a great achievement. In the process of evolution uh, is a great boon. The human form of life is a great boon. But Maya is so strong that in spite of achieving this great boon of the human form of life, we are influenced by temporary material happiness and we forget our goal of life. We are attracted by things which will cease to exist. The beginning of such attraction is the temporary body. In this horrible condition of life, there is only one way of liberation, to engage in the activities of transcendental chanting and hearing of the holy name of the Supreme Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. The words yusmat katamrata nishevaka mean those who engage in relishing the nectar of the topics of your lordship. There are two narrative books which especially concern the words and activities of Krishna. Bhagavad Gita is the instruction given by Krishna. And Bhagavatam is the book containing topics exclusively about Krishna and his devotees. These two books are the special nectar of the words of Krishna. For those who engage in the preaching of these two Vedic literatures, it is very easy to get out of the illusory condition of life imposed upon us by Maya. The illusion is that the conditioned soul does not try to understand his spiritual identity. He is more interested in his external body, which is only a flash and which will be finished as soon as the time is designated. The whole atmosphere will change when the living entity has to tra transmigrate from one body to another. Under the spell of Maya, he will again be satisfied in a different atmosphere. This spell of Maya is called Avarnatmika, Avarnatmika Shakti because it is so strong that the living entity is satisfied in any abominable condition. Even if he is born as a worm living within the intestine or abdomen in the midst of urine and stool, still he is satisfied. This is the covering influence of Maya. But the human form of life is a chance to understand, and if one misses this opportunity, he is the most unfortunate. The way to get out of illusory maya is to engage in the topics of Krishna. Lord Chaitanya advocated a process whereby everyone may remain in his present position without change, but simply hear from the proper authoritative sources about Krishna. Lord Chaitanya advised everyone to spread the word of Krishna. He advised all of you become spiritual masters. Your duty is simply to talk to whomever you meet of Krishna or of the instructions given by Krishna. The International Society for Krishna Consciousness is operating for this purpose. We do not ask anyone to first change his position and then come to us. Instead, 
we invite everyone to come with us and simply chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Because we know if one simply chants and hears the topics of Krishna, one's life will change. He will see a new light and his life will be successful. Text 45. Brahmana Uchu Tvam Kratus Tvam Havis Tvam Hutusasvayam Tvam He Mantra Samid Tarba Patranicha Tvam Sadasyart Vijo Dampati Devata Agniho Tram Svada Soma Ajam Pashuhu The Brahmanas said, Dear Lord, you are sacrifice personified. You are the offering of clarified butter. You are the fire. You are the chanting of Vedic hymns by which the sacrifice is conducted. You are the fuel. You are the flame. You are the kusha grass and you are the sacrificial pots. You are the priests who perform the yajna. You are the demigods headed by Indra and you are the sacrificial animal. Everything that is sacrificed is you or your energy. Purpur. In this statement, Lord Vishnu's all pervasiveness is partially explained. It is said in the Vishnu Purana that as a fire situated in one place emanates its heat and illumination everywhere, so whatever we see within the material or spiritual world is nothing but a manifestation of different energies emanating from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Brahmana's statement is that Lord Vishnu is everything. The fire, the offering, the clarified butter, the utensils, the place of sacrifice, and the kusa. He is everything. It is confirmed herein that the performance of Sankirtan Yajna in this age is as good as all other Yajnas in all other ages. If one performs Sankirtana Yajna by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare, there is no need to arrange elaborate paraphernalia for the prescribed sacrificial ceremonies recommended in the Vedas. And the chant of the holy names, Hare and Krishna, Hare means the energy of Krishna, and Krishna is the Vishnu Tattva. Combined together, they are everything. In this age, persons are harassed by the influence of Kali Yuga and cannot arrange for all the requisite paraphernalia for performing sacrifice as recommended in the Vedas. But if one simply chants Hare Krishna, it is to be understood that he is performing all kinds of yajna because there is nothing within our vision except Hare, the energy of Krishna, and Krishna. There is no difference between Krishna and his energies. Thus, since everything is a manifestation of his energy, it is to be understood that everything is Krishna. One simply has to accept everything in Krishna consciousness, and he is a liberated person. One should not misunderstand that because everything is Krishna, Krishna has no personal identity. Krishna is so full that in spite of keeping himself separate from everything by his energy, he is everything. This is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita, ninth chapter. He is spread throughout the creation as everything, but still he is not everything. The philosophy recommended by Lord Chaitanya is that he is simultaneously one and different. Text 46. Thampura gam rasaya maha shukaro damstraya padminim varanindro yata Stuyamano nada lilhaya yogi beer. Yuja harta trahi gatra yagya kratuhu. Dear Lord, O personified Vedic knowledge, in the past millennium, long, long ago, when you appeared as the great boar incarnation, 
He picked up the world from the water as an elephant picks up a lotus flower from a lake. When you vibrated transcendental sound in that gigantic form of a boar, the sound was accepted as a sacrificial hymn, and great sages like Sanaka meditated upon it and offered prayers for your glorification. Purport. A significant word used in this verse is trigatra, which means that transcendental form of the Lord is the Vedas. Anyone who engages in the worship of the deity or the form of the Lord in the temple is understood to be studying all the Vedas 24 hours a day. Simply by decorating the deities of the Lord, Radha and Krishna in the temple, one very minutely studies the injunctions of the Vedas. Even a neophyte devotee who simply engages in the worship of the deity is understood to be in direct touch with the purport of Vedic knowledge. As confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 15.15, Vedaisya Sarvair Aham Eva Vedya, the purport of the Vedas is to understand him, Krishna. One who worships and serves Krishna directly has understood the truths of the Vedas. Saprashidatvam asma kam akanshatam darshanam te pari brasta sat karmanam. Kritiamane rabir nam ni yagyeshate yagyavigyai kasyam yanti tasmai nama. Dear Lord, we were awaiting your uh, we were awaiting your audience because we have been unable to perform the yagyas according to the Vedic rituals. We pray unto you, therefore, to be pleased with us simply by chanting your holy name one can surpass all obstacles. We offer our respectful obeisances unto you in your presence. Purport. The Brahmana priests were very hopeful that their sacrifice would be carried out with, uh, without obstacles now that Lord Vishnu was present. It is significant in this verse that the Brahmanas say, simply by chanting your holy name, we can surpass the obstacles, but now you are personally present. The performance of Yajna by Daksha was obstructed by the disciples and followers of Lord Shiva. The Brahmanas indirectly criticized the followers of Lord Shiva, but because the Brahmanas were always protected by Lord Vishnu, Shiva's followers um, could not do any harm to their prosecution of the sacrificial process. There is a saying that when Krishna protects someone, no one can do him harm. And when Krishna wants to kill someone, no one can protect him. The vivid example was Ravana. Ravana was a great devotee of Lord Shiva, but when Lord Ramchandra wanted to kill him, Lord Shiva could not protect him. If some demigod, even Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma, wants to do harm to a devotee, Krishna protects the devotee. But when Krishna wants to kill someone, such as Ravana or Hirani Kashipu, no demigod can protect him. And thus ends our reading for today. We'll continue from text 48 on Wednesday. With any comments or questions from the assembled devotees. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare <laughs> Bull, Jai. Jai Gurudev. Okay. Change and be happy, Prabhu. <laughs> yes. That is what we are told. Also good to have some deeper understanding, though. Just like when we love someone, if we don't understand their qualities or what they like, how can we serve them? We have to have some knowledge about who they are, what they like, what they don't like. Otherwise, we can't serve them properly. Yeah. 
Jai on Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa, Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj Ki Jai. Yeah. Jai Srila Prabhupada, Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Guru Dev, Srila Acharya Dev, Srila Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai. Yeah. Jai Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. Yeah. 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 Of the assembled devotees, our glories of the worldwide devotees. Sama Bhaktivedi Vrinda Ki Jai. Yeah. Yeah. Jai Navadvip Dham Ki Jai, Nishuna Puri Dham Ki Jai, Maya Puri Dham Ki Jai. Yeah. 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 Puri Dham Ki Jai. Jai yeah. Yeah. Baladev, Subhadra, Ju Ki Jai. Yeah. Yeah. Ganga Mai, Yamuna Mai Ki Jai. Vrindavan yeah. Dham Ki Jai. Yeah. 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 Guru Govardhan Dham Ki Jai. Sham Kund, Radha Kund Ki Jai. Tosi yeah. yeah. Devi, Bhakti Devi, Vrinda Devi Ki Jai. Yeah. 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 Jai Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Jayam Sankirtan Yagi Kija, Scientific Sankirtan Yagi Kija, Jayam Bhakti Vedanta Institute Kija, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Institute Kija, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Kija, Gita Primanam, Jai Shimati Uma Devi Dasi Kija, Jai Krishna Prabhu Kija, Jai Krishna, Jai Pad Krishna Kesha Prabhu Ji Ki Jai 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 Jai